know, coming out here looking for these dolphins, sometimes I'll put out a few trolling lures, you know, just to kind of scout the area. You know, and I find that these little chuggers with that little roofier colored skirt, deadly effective at finding these schoolie dolphins. And often the schoolies will lead the way to some bigger gaffers. So I'm not trying to pull a full on trolling spread, but I'll put four or five or six of these out depending on the conditions, how much grass is around. And then I'll always include at least one deep diving plug in the spread as well. For the wahoo, often blackfin tuna, or even of course the bigger dolphin will hit those deep diving plugs. You know, so again, it's just a very simple four or five line spread just to cover some ground. You know, as I'm looking around, working my way offshore, looking for well-formed weed patches, maybe any floaters that might be on the surface, any sort of debris. You know, obviously you can't catch fish if you don't have lines in the water, right? So it's just a, a good mix, but it's easy to retrieve and clean up and switch gears back to the pinfish and the poppers. Michael, when you're out here trolling, what do you guys typically pull? Normally, you know, we stick to the running guns. We'll fish, fish spinning rods most of the time. Uh, naked, two naked value, sometimes three, maybe one with a skirt. On the spinners, just putting them back there on the spinners? On two spinners, and uh, so I can, I can really maneuver, turn, and clear them really easily if I see right. something I want to get to. Yeah. And then we can even cast those value, it's kind of the thing where we see yeah. fish. 